Fingers around it. Put it down. No. Oh. Oh. It's, uh, yeah, there's nothing. <laughs> nothing down there. <laughs> oh, come on. Right. We really are trapped in here. Uh, maybe not. We came here to help Jimmy Barnes, right? So let's help Jimmy Barnes. This is something that I really, really did not expect to see in a Lucifer episode. You look like you could kick ass, man. And win any fight. Criminals probably cry when they see Listen, you coming. Listen, I know her. No, you don't. Maze? Random dude I've never met. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what she's doing or why she's doing it. God damn it, Amenadiel. <laughs> well, she made you look good by committing vandalism, which is illegal. Right, but it is just graffiti, though, right? <laughs> right. Textbook gateway misdemeanor. Next up, armed robbery. Oh, that sounds nice. Then murder. Been there, done that. She's kidding. I don't kid. You said you wanted to catch criminals, so we got one, and we're taking her to prison. Yeah, but that seems a bit excessive. She's harmless, mostly. Once a criminal, always a criminal. I mean, if you don't know that, then maybe you're not cut out for this job. Well, then I guess I'm not, because I will never think that way. I hope so. Here's your stop. What? Really? That was her test. Excuse me! Yeah, I have a- His little tush waving as he walks. You're only holding her back. <laughs> I never said that. See, I'm being slandered. This homunculus is a human stain. Okay, that is a little abridged, but me again. Shall we interrupt this tirade? Uh, excuse me? I'm in the middle of, uh, doing one of my performances. <laughs> what? In the West Country, then? That's it! That's it! Yeah, oh! In the nuts! In the nuts! Bingo! <laughs> Apple juice. Well, this place can go f itself. <laughs> Apple juice out of whiskey. Even if it's a car, it should have f whiskey. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> this, this is your torture. Was me interrupting your sham wedding really the worst thing that ever happened to you? Listen, are you sure we want to go somewhere worse? Since this hell loop is broken, I fear the only way out is in. We need to go deeper, get to the real source of it all. Come on, Jimmy. Show me your real hell. Sick. Well, you can see him in his eyes then as well. Are you going to run through me again? Because honestly, it kind of tickles. No, I don't need to. Because once Lucifer gets here, it's going to be a bloodbath for you. Oh, yeah? He's basically the most dangerous being in the entire universe. How the hell do you plan to fight that? Oh, wow, you have wings. Lucifer's got him too. What are you going to do, fan him to death? <laughs> okay, that's cool. This hell is very 80s, even for the time. Oh, yabba dabba do me. The devil is back. <laughs> oh. This isn't the store that we followed Jimmy into. Hell loops from a lunge of nightmares and greatest hits. A touch of the surreal can do wonders for the torch, huh? <laughs> oh, speaking of torture, <sighs> guyliner, really? What were they thinking? <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> You're fired, dude. What? What are you talking about? I'm sorry, Jimmy. Your sound is so mainstream. We, we want to make real music. Truth is, you're only holding, you're holding me back. Me back. Hold, holding me back. Hold, hold. You're only holding me back. That's one of the things the devil monster said to Jimmy in the cartoon, remember? Indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you didn't hear it from me. But Wednesday's child are total frauds. That's why I backed out on them. All the riffs are stolen. Uh, hell hath no fury like a record producer scorned. So, if you want to be gagging on legal fees for the next 20 years. That's why they only had one hit. You're right. I am. I'm better than you. I deserve better than you. Better than all of this. Now get the hell out. 
So he pushes everyone away that actually loves him because he's hurt by the people that don't love him. I think I see what's going on here. Who are you? How'd you get in here? You're afraid of being abandoned, so you pushed her mm -hmm. away before she could do it. Lucifer can relate to abandonment issues. Tell me. What do you? What is it you truly so, desire? I... Yeah. I don't want her to go. Maybe it is his first love. Well then, for once, go after her. Lucifer. Look. At the door. The door. You did it. You helped him. We still don't know what's at the heart of his torment. You really want to see this through, huh? I think I have to. Back to his childhood. Is that Jimmy? Does his, is it his mom? Maybe I the woman to. is his mom. The is quite familiar. This must be the heart of his torture. Yeah. <sighs> She's his mother. Just watch your cartoons, Jimmy, and everything will be fine. I'll be right back. And then she never comes back. What a psycho, man. Well, she needs locking up. He's only holding you back. Her son? What is wrong with these people? Oh my God, you're a fuck up. There's the root of his abandonment issues, jeez. How long did he sit here? Hours, days? Poor Jimmy. He must have felt so alone. Child Protective Services! All right, come on. No, no! Come on with us. Please! I can't leave! If I leave, my mom will be able to find me! She's coming back! Please! No! She's coming back! Please. Stop! Wait, do you have your control back? So, I can't get you out of hell. Only you can do that. I'm not even sure if you deserve to get out of here after what you've done. But I now see the pain behind the terrible decisions that you made in life. Doesn't excuse them, but I understand them now. I came here to help you, Jimmy, and you told me your desire. I don't want her to go. For the time being, this will... This makes me so sad. <laughs> we should go. I know that was so hard. And honestly, I cannot wait to get home. But Lucifer, before we go, <clears throat> I have to see Dan. And he's not gonna be there, cause he's on Earth. Are you all right? So the whole point of this was to see if I could help someone that I hated. But the truth is, despite everything Jimmy Burns did, I care about him now. I mean, I, I thought it was a bad thing that I grew to like Carol, but maybe it's like you were saying. Maybe that was a good thing, as is this. Because if I can grow to like Jimmy Barnes, of all people... Then you can grow to care about anybody. And if I can care about anyone, then I can help anyone. Does this mean... I think so. <laughs> Ironically, we're in hell, and finally, I'm ready to be God. <laughs> but Dan's not here. Mace, what were you thinking? You could have screwed everything up for me. Hey, from what I could tell, I am the whole reason you passed that lame reverse psychology test, so you're welcome. All right, listen. Her methods aren't lame, okay? She has a high trainee dropout rate because she's actually trying to find people who are in it for the right reasons. Yeah, whatever, bro. Why do you even care? Because. Because what? Because you thought it would be funny, because you thought I would fail, because... Because I'm your friend, Amanda Deal. And I'm sorry if I didn't go about it in the most ideal way or whatever. I was just trying... Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, you're welcome. I checked the Silver City. He's not there. He's gonna be here. I've been looking everywhere for you. What on earth are you doing on earth? Mr. Bill, watch out! Finally. After all these years I've spent hating you for what you did to me, finally, I can have my revenge. Okay. 
I have no idea who you are. <laughs> You're not one of my siblings. Who are you? I'm your daughter! Huh? Well, that I didn't expect. So Lucifer's got a daughter, apparently, which is really interesting. I'm intrigued as to know more about her, where she's come from, if she is a Nephilim of some sort or a full celestial being. And I'm assuming he didn't know anything about this chick. That's my guess, because he did look very shocked then. I'm gonna wait and see how that pans out a little bit more. This episode was a weird one for me. It didn't go the way that I thought it would go. I liked aspects of it. Yeah, it, it wasn't like thrilling or anything like that. I liked Lucifer trying to get to the bottom of wanting to become God and it appeared like he finally realized what he wanted and he was ready to step up. Whether this daughter of his now has an influence in that as well, I don't know. Did Lucifer's dad not know about this daughter? How has she gone under the radar for so long? Like many questions. The wings and stuff just blow me away like they look so cool and the fact that hers are like blades like shards that can slice through anything <laughs> by the looks of it is quite impressive i feel as though lucifer is going to be able to change this around and make her calm down at least that's that's my hope. One thing I will say as well is there's aspects of chloe that i'm not loving uh, at the minute I didn't like her using sort of like a manipulation tactic to get down to hell and it's for personal gain as well. She seems very obsessed with this power that she's received from Amanda Deal's necklace and it's affecting her decisions. So I feel like we need to get that addiction under control um, before it gets even wilder, to be honest. And I'm surprised that Lucifer hasn't picked up on certain things like that as well. I like that Chloe is his partner and that they do everything together. It was more just the way in which she went around it because he wanted to protect her and she just yeah it seemed a bit shady to me i could be reading too much into it probably am um but that's just a little touch that i didn't quite i quite like as well she wanting to do all of this stuff and as a mother myself you sort of have to think about your offspring before yourself and i feel that her having this added strength through the necklace is clouding that judgment. I just think it's going to be dangerous. I really do. The Amenadiel and May stuff, I felt kind of weak, to be honest. I hate saying that because I love them as characters, but it wasn't holding my attention as much as their stuff would usually would, which is a shame. The Linda stuff as well. Uh, with her writing a story makes me uncomfortable and especially her hiding what she's doing to Lucifer. Why couldn't she have just said what she was doing there? I don't understand that. I don't like the lies, don't like the secrecy. Dan's story I find interesting though. That is holding my attention. So he is dead but on earth in this ghostly plane so he can't physically touch anything but Lucifer can see him which is good. And hander and he didn't want to betray lucifer which again i'm really happy about he wanted to try and get to earth which happened and then he tried to save lucifer and it's a good job really because i mean she technically didn't lie so she guess she takes that after her dad in that regard he, she did get him there but she didn't really explain him still being dead <laughs> which is quite a big factor in the story uh the cartoon stuff i felt was cool it did feel randomly placed within the episode Episode. If the cartoon was a standalone thing, I'd be raving about that because I loved the <laughs> the conversations that they were having. I loved the idea of it being in a hell loop, trying to get out and all the rest of it. The comedy of it as well was great, but slotting it in within the episode, I don't think it gelled as well as I think they hoped maybe. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below as well because I would like to know if I am alone on, on this and if you, if you thought it was great. Like I say, the, if it was lifted out of the episode and it was just like a web series or something, I'd be like raving over it. But yeah. I'm hoping the next episode is going to explore this massive revelation at the end about him having a daughter. And I'm hoping for a, a Chloe Dan type of reunion. I'm assuming that Chloe won't be able to see him because she's mortal, but Dan will be able to see her and maybe discuss things with her and Lucifer can translate. I don't know. It'll make for an interesting scene though, I'm sure. So I want to see some of that. We still haven't seen Trixie and we still haven't seen Charla. Where are the kids at? I think that's all I've 
can really say that oh, on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction though. And if you did, please give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. But as always, there's no pressure here. Please remember I have a Patreon where I have extended and exclusive videos on there and it helps support the content here on YouTube as well. So it means the world to me. I also live stream on Twitch every Friday and Saturday and sometimes more. And the links will be in the description below. So if you, if you want to follow me on socials, etc., head on down there. You'll find what you're looking for, I'm sure. And I hope to see you again soon for Lucifer Season 6, Episode 4. Thank you for watching and bye guys.